Hi, my name is Jamie Black and I'm a memorialization specialist here at Spring Grove Cemetery and today we're going to be talking about another material that is commonly found in the historic cemetery, which is sandstone. We're here at the Dexter Mausoleum and the exterior of the Dexter Mausoleum, which was built in 1870, is made of sandstone. Um, as you can see over time when you see some of the photos of the Dexter or if you come to visit, um, there are pieces and components of the mausoleum that have actually fallen off over time and this is due to the softness of sandstone. Like marble, sandstone is made of fine sand grains, but in a different way it's held together um, not by pressure and time, but it's held together by classic materials such as clay, silica, or calcite. So due to this, it is more susceptible to what is called biological erosion. So biological erosion is basically when you have things like lichens and vines, which you'll find um, all over the exterior of the Dexter. And those actually feed on the clay and the calcite between the sand grains, which cause it to weaken over time. They make the stone softer. Um, you'll see things like lamination, um, the green of the algae, the green of the lichens, that kind of adhere to the monument or the mausoleum itself and those actually slowly over time eat away at it. So there's pieces of um, the flying buttresses, the top pieces that have fallen off and also there used to be a steeple on top of the Dexter mausoleum that for many reasons it is no longer there but one of them was the biological erosion that happened over time. So this is why sandstone um, is more of a historic material that was used and not one you would commonly find in the cemetery today.